okay so that uh, the whole breast should be removed means whole breast means the complete breast tissue the portion of the skin over the tumor means that the 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 portion uh, which is involved or uh, adhered to the mass maybe the nipple may be include for the cosmetic reason also don't try to save the nipples it should be excised the subcutaneous fat and the deep fascia vertically from the lower border of the clavicle from the clavicle to the upper border of the rectus sit and horizontally from the sternum to anterior border of uh, to the anterior border of latissimus dorsi you know the territory means from the up, from the uh, from the clavicle to the rectus sit of abdomen and from the sternum to the anterior border of the latissimus dorsi that is the back, muscles of the back understand means the complete uh, subcutaneous fat that deep fascia of this this area must be removed whole pectoralis major and minor muscles the clavi pectoral fascia this is the fascia covering the pectoral muscles and to up to the clavicle so this clavi pectoral fascia must be removed upper part of the external oblique aponeurosis external oblique aponeurosis and some anterior part of the serratus anterior these are the muscles all fatty and loose areolar tissue along with all group of the lymph nodes of the axilla you know in the beginning uh, in the anatomy we discussed there is the uh, different groups of the uh, uh, axillary lymph nodes supraclavicular apical axillary and the subaxillary means uh, that and so there is different group of the lymph nodes of the axilla so all the group of lymph nodes of the axilla must be removed at the time of the surgery or for in this procedures next next important thing the the important structure which are uh, should, should be shaped at the uh, shape at the time of the procedure first thing uh, always try to save axillary vein and cephalic vein these are very important veins to drain the all the venous blood from the uh, limbs upper limbs the hands so it is very important to shape this is uh, this is structure the thoracic nerve of the bell supplying serratus anterior the muscles of the serratus anterior supplied by the thoracic nerve of bell ah uh, the two if they injured then the bell palsy occurs so, so this nerve should be shaped and the nerve of the latissimus dorsi that muscles of the back so these are the few nerves and the uh, veins which should be try to preserve at the time of this procedures now we discuss step by step thus these procedures you know this is the picture you can say uh, here from the sternum to the anterior border of the latissimus dorsi here from the rectus sit to the here up to the uh, clavicle so complete fascia and the muscles this is the pectoralis major muscles here cut this is the pectoralis minor muscles this is the rectus sit this is the external oblique aponeurosis this is the serratus anterior and this is the latissimus dorsi means you can you have to expose all these muscles all this you all the muscles you must to be removed so there are the steps in the procedure take the patients in the position uh, that uh, mostly that uh, supine positions uh, is uh, good and uh, but the patient should be uh, at the side of the table and the uh, affected side should be at the at the end of the table side of the table and the hand of the affected side should be keep at the 90 degree angle understand means not complete extension but the 50 uh, that the uh, 90 degree extension is required for the complete exposure of the axilla structures while the procedures so the patient should be position like that the supine with the the hand of affected side should be at the 90 degree in the arm rest then incision then uh, underlying undermining of the skin 
then clearance of the axillary structures removal of the breast tissue closure of the wound and the post operative care so these are the steps important steps which we discuss in details one by one first the positions in the supine at the edge of the table with the arm abducted to right angle of placed on the arm rest sand bag should be placed below the scapula to to elevate the structures uh, elevate that affected side so it's very easy for that surgeons next thing that incision you know that this is the you can see in the picture this is the original halstead incision it should be start from here and it form an ellip elliptical it should be elliptical around the nipple or around the tumor you know this is it but now this is the modified incision this is now uh, very uh, used to means a very uh, popular that make the incision electrical around the axilla or around the tumor okay and then extend the end of that both hand upper end up to that uh, uh, in the arm uh, to uh, in the side of the arm towards the arm and lower part of the incision should be extend towards the umbilicus understand means in between there is a over the breast they make the incision elliptical incision and there is two end one end should be extend towards the uh, umbilicus and other towards the arm in the axis of the arm so this is the in, this is the incisions next the undermining of the skin undermining of the skin means when the, when you make the incision there is the skin flap so you you lift the skin flap and you uh, you have to dissect the structures means you have to dissect the uh, structure adhered to the skin uh, uh, so that that's that's uh, that's removal of the structure from the skin that is undermining undermining means you understand means uh, just uh, suppose this is the structure and you just uh, clear it the, he, here this is the skin and you are clearing this structure then he, there is the space we leaving below this skin this is called undermining of the skin so uh, uh, because we are not removing complete skin so whatever the skin is affected we must re re remove at the time at, at the uh, we must remove in the that is skin which is affected that's why we make the elliptical incision and we include all that affected skin i will remove that at a time but the remaining skin should be undermined for the later closer because when we close the wound then we use this skin to close the wound that's why we undermine the skin and we, we, we uh, undermining means simple we just separate the uh, the breast tissue from the that skin so while the uh, doing undermining of the skin one thing must be remembered that there must be some enough fat and subcutaneous tissue must be uh, leave along with the skin because uh, it, it makes the skin viable if you remove complete the skin then it is very difficult that uh, to uh, that healing and the skin may be damaged that's why some some subcutaneous fat and some uh, sub uh, cutaneous fat and should be leave be below that that is skin so and the, the now uh, next thing the uh, up to which area the skin should be underlined in the superior side the the upper flap means there is two flap na upper flap and that lower flap so upper flap should be undermined uh, in the superior side up to the clavicle okay and in the midline to toward the up to that uh, that is sternum the lower flap it should be uh, undermined laterally literally up to the latissimus dorsi and deep border of latissimus dorsi and below up to the uh, upper border of the abdomen that is the rectus muscles understand means you 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 uh, you, you make free all this skin from these underlying structures because all the structures below it, it, it uh, are uh, we should going to remove this 
next thing is the clearance of axilla that is very important uh, and very uh, very important uh, steps of this com uh, pro uh, that uh, complete procedures and uh, it's uh, it should be done very carefully because there is uh, so much vital structures there are some uh, nerves which we should shape there are the arteries there are the vessels which we should shape so uh, one thing that the dissection should be uh, done bluntly by the uh, by the fingers along with gauze piece avoid to use, use so, uh, very sharp structures so for the clearance of axilla uh, the required uh, first thing is required to the deep the incision that uh, up and, uh, upper side of the incision should be little make it little deeper into the axilla and expose that complete axillary structures the upward flap it clear to expose the pectoralis major and the clavicle because this is the clavicle uh, pectoralis major, major muscles which is uh, <coughs> which uh, which which has insertion in the humerus so it is covering that complete axillary structures to so so to expose the axilla this flap uh, must be cleared okay so to expose the floor of the uh, axilla the uh, the flap cleared to the latissimus dorsi an incision is made on the fascia of the pectoralis major pectoralis major the upper margin of the fascia is stripped medially understand means this is that the fascia covering the pectoralis major muscles so first this fascia is incised and it is cleared it should be cleared uh, through, uh, toward the sternum and then that uh, uh, the the clavicular fiber of the pectoralis major muscles the finger is passed between the two sets of the fiber and divided near insertion understand means the insertion of the the pectoralis major muscles in the in the, in the clavicle and in the humerus so we just uh, just just uh, uh, we, sh we should disconnect we should uh, cut this uh, fiber so that the complete axilla is now exposed from anteriorly and lateral and, and posterior means the floor of axilla is made by the latissimus dorsi so that should be cleared <coughs> no need to cut because it's below so after cutting that uh, fiber of the pectoralis major muscles you have the complete exposure of the axilla now carefully dissect all that uh, removed all that uh, axillary uh, all that la levels all that uh, group of the axillary lymph nodes and try uh, and uh, while the dissection you should very carefully to save that axillary and cephalic veins and this uh, thoracic nerve of bell means all these um, vital organs whatever we already discussed that should be shaped thoracoacromian artery and cephalic vein so this is the two important structures who should be shaped at the time of the dissection and the, all that uh, uh, fat and all the uh, tissue which is uh, free tissue and that uh, lymph nodes this odd should be removed and complete so one thing we already had discussed that dissection is best carried out by means of the fingers covered with a gauze piece means uh, just uh, may just uh, take a gauze piece and cover with the finger then you dissect up with this uh, gauze piece covered finger so that the dissection is very clear and it is blunt also so you you just uh, you uh, to avoid damage or any kind of the vessels because once you have ruptured any artery or vessels and there is a huge bleeding in, uh, at that uh, that area and then the complete structures become all the red and then now it is very difficult to identify the uh, five uh, fat and identify the fat and the lymph nodes and their structures the means complete area become the red that's why you should, uh, you should avoid to any kind of the hemorrhage and bleeding at the type of the, at the site of the surgery so that's why the blunt dissection is good understand because once if you uh, injured the big vessels then uh, your complete attention should be uh, to uh, secure the bleeding because that is the uh, the major part if you the bleeding is there then the patient should be not be uh, means that is the now uh, 
if the huge bleeding is there, then the patient may be going to the shock and die on the table. So that's why uh, to reduce the size, uh, the uh, to reduce that uh, uh, hemorrhage, we should do the plant dissections. Next, after the dissection of the complete axilla, the removing, uh, removing of that uh, that uh, opening the axilla, the lymph, lymph nodes are uh, removing. Then we must uh, keep a warm pack, saline pack, just uh, that uh, some mops uh, soak in the saline and keep on the axilla to uh, to to avoid the dry up of the that uh, that structures. And then move toward the next step, which is the removing of the breast. So here we already have discussed these pictures. Now the removing of the breast tissue. So in the half step, uh, we have uh, we we, uh, we, are, we have to remove the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, both muscles, along with all complete lymph nodes and with all complete breast tissue. So the pectoralis muscles are now gradually divided from the chest wall along with the upper fiber of the external oblique. Here perforating branch of the internal mammary artery comes across. They, they, they should be secured, clamped and divided. Upper part of the rectus sheath is removed while leaving the fibers of the rectus muscles exposed. Finally, the whole mass is removed by dividing the external fiber of the pectoral major muscles. Means you will start dissecting from upwards, first from the clavicle and this side, and then from that uh, superior side, then complete flap from the medial side from the external fibers. Understand? So, complete breast tissue lies on the pectoral major muscles. So when the pack, you did this, uh, divide the pectoralis major major muscles, it means you are dividing the complete breast. <laughs> Next is the closing of the wound. So before closing the wound, the attention should be paid to uh, to to see uh, any kind of the hemorrhage. You just uh, we must search for the any kind of hemorrhage. If there any kind of the oozing or bleeding is there, it must be secured. Means complete area should be bloodless at the uh, time of closing. There should be no blood. Whole wound should be inspected carefully. If any glandular tissues remove remain. Especially at the apex of axilla, it must be removed before closing. And before starting the sutureing of the wound, the arm should be placed in full extension. Understand? Because if, if the, the, in the after the surgery, uh, the wound will be contracted. Okay. So if you leave, if you suture the, uh, if you suture that uh, the arm and that uh, that incision um, in the arm in the lateral positions in the uh, anatomical positions and later on when the patient extend the arm then it is the, there is the stretching on the uh, that incision side so it will cause that uh, that uh, may be delayed healing or non healing maybe adhesions may be happen that's why before closing you must keep the ha hand of the patients just on the uh, the full extensions so in this position, you just close the wound and uh, while the closing the wound that there must be, uh, we must place the drain, drainage because we have uh, exposed the large area, we have excised the large area. So later on, there must be an inflammation, inflammation. their inflammation causes the inflammatory exudation. So there must be some secretions may be there so to uh, to remove the secretions to remove the oozing blood busy uh, uh, that uh, secretions serous secretions or the blood secretions uh, we must place the drain especially that suction drain at suction drain this is the uh, uh, means one de device which create the vacuum and we place uh, we connect from that uh, we, we place the tube in, in that uh, below just that uh, below the area where we, below the suture line and we close it. So later on when that uh, there is a secretions, so there is the vacuum is filled by the secretions and it will be shut by that 
that uh, suction uh, with with the uh, negative pressures so this suction must be suction drain must be placed before closing and one other thing uh, that is uh, that uh, that is that uh, white principle means that, that we that uh, always close the wound without tension means that uh, your suture must be tension free if you uh, do the suturing with the tension then that area be becomes devitalized and skin becomes uh, uh, devitalized because under tension skin is not healthy and under tension skin will not heal properly so that your wound will be infected your wound will be get dehiscence and the proper healing will not happen if you have exposed a large uh, you have excised large area of the uh, skin and you have not enough skin to close then you you may take uh, the skin graft from other body parts and you close with the skin graft and uh, don't uh, close under tensions that is the basic principle after that uh, keep that uh, suction drain that antiseptic dressing with pressure and support to the breast it should be applied properly so this this is the suction device okay so this is uh, one one end of this this tube is inserted this this is this is keep inside the wound and then it should be first it should be pressed and then then uh, then it connects uh, the, uh, the other part this this part is connect to the end uh, to a pouch where the complete sucked uh, sucked solution it should be keep there this is a uh, type of the uh, drainage sorry so next thing that post operative care so the patient should be keep in semi sitting positions that facilitate the proper uh, drainage of the uh, that that secreted material inside the wound uh, when the drainage is released the arm is kept in adduction support with a pillow okay means when the bandage is released that arm should be uh, should be in abduction positions okay and then support the pillow because that uh, adduction position causes that uh, the drainage of the lymph node should that avoid the edema in the upper, uh, in the upper arm on the hand because we have removed that uh, uh, so much tissue so that may causes that uh, that uh, we have removed the uh, lymphatics lymph nodes so that's why the lymphatic edema may be there it's, it is the complications also we already had discussed the complication of the, the, the mastectomy is that edema in the uh, upper arm and the uh, lower arm may be the upper arm and the affected sites so that's why after the uh, in the pre or post operative care the patient should uh, we should advise the patient to keep his hand in the abduction position and support with a pillow so that the drainage should be proper with the gravitational effects and along with this uh, surgical procedure the adjuvant therapy and radiotherapy and cryotherapy and now after the surgery may be advised to the patients this is next the uh, uh, mr modified radical mastectomy this is the uh, this is a little modification in the uh, holstect mastectomy there one site is pate the endolata they have uh, just a make few changes in the procedure they have not uh, means they just uh, preserve the pectoralis major muscles so it has been seen after the uh, that uh, preserving the pectoralis muscles uh, there is the uh, the cosmetic defect uh, produce after that uh, removal of that uh, means there is some hollow hollowness is there due to that the muscle mass is the pectoralis major is the main muscles below the breast when we remove the this uh, when we are removing this uh, pectoralis major muscles there that create a hollowness in that breast area so that is the cosmetical defect and it uh, so uh, it has been seen 
even after keeping this means after preserving the pectoralis major muscles that uh, prognosis is good so that's why that uh, the modification was done later on that in this we uh, we are not uh, removing the pectoralis major muscles but the minor muscles are removed along with the labrum one th second and first second and third of the axilla lymph nodes okay so this is the modification and now it is also quite popular procedures modified radical mastectomies along with that adjoint therapy chemotherapy and radiotherapy so this is the surgical procedure uh, mrm and um, hrm this is this is the uh, most important surgical uh, surgical procedure so just uh, maybe it is not required for us because maybe not uh, uh, on uh, we are not means uh we can uh, we, we cannot allow to do this but we must know in the future when we it may be some allowed then we can do this procedure also but the principle must be no we must uh, know all the principle of the surgery understand means which is a structure should be secured which is uh, organ with which is structure should be removed and uh, while the which is, which should be the procedure uh, what are the position uh, what are the post operative care uh require for that uh, mastectomy so this is the procedure we must know Le next uh, we discuss in the uh, in the next lecture